children engage in free play all on their own. The motivations behind this kind of play include the freedom to fail, experimentation, fashioning identities, and interpretation, where each individual experiences the game in their own way. It's said that these same elements of play are what makes modern video games so engaging to players. Yet somehow, we're facing a crisis of engagement in schools today. Research shows the longer children attend school, the less engaged they become. <sighs> Can the same key elements of games be repurposed in the classroom to create engaging experiences for students? Can we take what we know about play and video games and apply it to our classroom practices to engage our students more effectively? This is called the gamification of education. Gamification is the concept of applying game design thinking and game elements to motivate users towards goals, engage them in problem solving, and increase users' self-contributions. The first element of games is that they're individualized. When players are able to pick their own powers or quest, they feel a sense of agency right. over their lives. When one feels in control, they become more invested in the outcomes, set bigger goals for themselves, and are more resilient when external forces interfere with their plans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The second element is roleplay. Games give players the ability to be their ideal self or behave in a way that they can't normally behave. In turn, the ability to adopt an alternative identity allows for deeper improvisation and discovery. The third element of games is reinforcement, typically through extrinsic motivators such as rewards and badges, point systems, or negative punishments like loss of health or powers. This sort of operant conditioning affects the user's choices if faced with a similar scenario later in the game. Players are forced to use their power of reasoning to construct knowledge for themselves in a game, no matter the age. This leads us into the fourth element of games, Progression through levels. The cycle between choice and result is much shorter in games than it is in real life, and much more clearly indicated. Mm. Players are more willing to experiment and keep making different choices until they're successful, contextualizing facts and information along the way as tools for problem solving. Game players regularly exhibit persistence, risk-taking, attention to detail, and problem-solving skills, all behaviors that would be ideal for students to possess in the classroom. Gamified learning is not simply playing games in class, unstructured free play, or just the submersion into a virtual world. Instead, Gamification involves utilizing the elements which make games so engaging in an effort to improve the experience of reaching learning objectives. That's gamification. <laughs>